Okay, so Gordon says that the uh, the camper is not ready to have the tarp come off because it's only March. And I just don't think that looks very nice to sell. That's all I got. So we were given this 1996 Lance camper by my parents. And um, we've never replaced it because we can't find one better that we can afford. <laughs> so we'll tell you why it's better. All right. So we try to keep it covered as best we can. I think that helps. I'm going to find a picture of it uncovered somehow. Yeah, yeah we got some pictures. Well, let's just do it. So, right here. Are you doing a whole tour? Oh, I'm doing a whole tour. Okay, it has the uh, the larger tanks. Can't really tell in there. But they're good size, though. What size do they say? I don't know. But they're bigger than your propane tanks. We should find out. Them. Something gas. It should say on it. Why doesn't it say? Yeah. They're the big ones. Yeah. Like 20 pounds each, I think. I think they're the 30 pound tanks. 30 pound tanks? They're the big ones that when I take them in, they go, oh, those. Hang on, I gotta go do something. So you might wonder why we have this strap like this. We're up on a hill, and this is the northeast, and our storms come in from the northeast. And we realize that by doing that, it doesn't um, kind of get out of square as easily from the wind pounding on it. Not to say this thing doesn't need work. It needs work. But we just don't have we just don't have it. What we do have is a septic system that needs to be replaced. So this is the GoFundMe septic endeavor. Okay, so I don't know what this is about, but my dad did like this thing because he no, had a Chevy the, and the Lance has a proprietary plug that only, I guess only Lance uses or something. And he wanted to have it on a generic, um, just standard trailer prong plug, this style. So he just got an end and then he sliced, you know, spliced it together. It's worked fine, never given me a problem. Looks terrible. <laughs> All right, here's our battery. And off, out, it's on. So we we haven't started this generator since last summer when we lost power and we yeah, may or may not have turned off our main and may or may not have used this generator to run our refrigerator and other components during electric outage. Sorry. I don't know if uh... did it rack? Yeah, it's a little rack. No, it's just that that the key's designed to come out. So. You can start it from inside, but I'll just do it here so you can see it and try to turn over. So it's an Onan. Oh, this tank might be empty. I might have to switch over to the other tank. So this generator runs off what? Propane? Or gas? Propane. And... Okay, propane. We'll be back. Unless you're going to do it. This is well, going to be the longest turn... freaking video ever. Well, i got to turn the propane on. <laughs> okay. I'm not editing anything. I'm just gonna load it up. This is the video. The awning, which I'll have to find a picture because I don't think he's gonna let me open the awning. And it does have a tear. It could be replaced, it's oh, old. Crap. What? The gas wasn't shut off, so it might be out of gas. <laughs> Don't run it dry. I think it does that when it might be low on gas. <laughs> I can look inside. Okay, I promise it works. <laughs> we need to put some gas in the thing. Why don't we continue the tour of what it has, what we like about it? <laughs> so it's 11 foot 3. Oh, I put 11 6. I'll fix that. It's yeah, 11 3 extended cab. 9 4 5. So, on this side, you got your typical outdoor shower. Yeah. You want to open that? Yep, I like that. I've actually used it. And I, I didn't stand in the dirt. What I did is I had, and you all can have this, okay? If you buy this camper, you can get it. But I used that grated, it's a step and it's got a grate and you can actually stand on it barefoot without it hurting. So we don't have the hose on it right now, so it's missing the <laughs> shower hose. But you want to tell is. why? This is just your, <laughs> your storage, your uh, drops and a little bit of storage of, uh, you know, 
stakes for the awning or gloves. But so this is your water gray and black water. And drain lines for your hoses so you can drain the water out. Um, okay. And stuff like that. <clears throat> and then in this nifty little deal, I can't open it with one hand. Yep. That's, that's the hose. The, that's, the, uh, that's the sewer hose is inside there. Okay. I'm not going to open it right now. Uh, this jack has a challenge. It actually needs to be replaced. Hence the Burger King cup. Yeah, um, but it does work. It just you end up jacking that side and then you can just kind of run this side because the back one side will pick up and then the other side or you put the hand crank and give it a little hand crank and help so i've not replaced it because see he got it kind of kind of level we actually kneel it forward so that the water and you can't tell with that cover on it but we tend to kneel it down so the water runs off the front next okay you want to see inside sure Come on in. And let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so well, this, first? The, this could be done. Yeah, the flooring is needing new new uh, linoleum. So it comes with your standard um, bench, could be bed. And then this bad boy Can is either down. a cabinet. Oh, what's this? Just paper bag, plastic bag. Or it oh, can fold wrap. down. Or it can fold down as a bed. You want to no, show that? We never had the the cushions to it. Nope, never had the cushions. So, but we also never considered using it as a bed. We used it as a gear storage for one of our trips where we had a lot of, yeah, gear, a lot of gear. And it worked. Left, we have to clean out. Oh, we should do that. Okay. So and it has the the uh, pull up to keep someone from falling off of it. Or in our case, keep the gear in. Yeah. yeah, but most of the time we just kept it up. So we have, and they could just use some cleaning, they're really dusty, but we have, they're all in really good shape actually, which is why I never replaced them because the they're all in really, I can't they're, make they're it. Latch, they don't swing around on Yeah, the they latch. Anyways, yeah. there you go. Yeah. And the same with this. It's not caught. And I like that they go out. We've been in many, many, we actually lived in this thing for six months and I could have those open during a rainstorm and not get any wind yep. or rain. Okay, so underneath here, I noticed on the newer ones that have the basements, sorry, I'm making a mess, I'll have to mop that up. They don't have these under cabinets because there's a basement and they raise this so that you can have this for a slide out. This isn't a slide out, but you can get like wow. eight pairs of adult shoes in there. Just yep. saying, so you can, I've done it. Yep. And then if you have children at a campsite, you must have jumbo sidewalk chalk. So that will go with the camper. You're going to have to replace it. <laughs> go camping in. Now, wait a minute. Before you get to that, I don't know. The new ones don't have these, I noticed. That's so you can access underneath in the bed of the truck. So if you have a toolbox or, you know, chalk blocks or something, you don't need to keep them in dry storage. You can put them out. Um, next to the wheel well in the bed but, but what does carissa do and then carissa um, puts i put um screening and then i turn this fan on and there are three of those throughout the whole camper and when you put the fans on it draws air right up through the camper and cools it down almost immediately just no, sharing sticking on this side okay all right gordon put this in so no this is this original this is the uh, storage drawer oh I yeah. thought you put that in. No, nope, that came with it. So okay. this side's a little deeper. So they put a nice drawer, holds a lot in there. Mm -hmm. uh, for the beds, they've got the pull out pieces so the bed can come way out. That'll pull almost across. Mm. I guess not. That's as far as that goes, I guess. No. So you can still walk by. That's as far as it goes. Is it? Yeah. I feel like I'm stuck on so something. So one side of the bed's wider than the other. I'm pretty reason. sure it, it opens. It's me. Pretty sure. Okay, here. You've got your... Oh, he's going over here. Said so we're going around the top. We are. Deep, your drawers. deep drawers. Nice deep. drawers for that. Mm -hmm. And this has this. I saw some that had a, a a wall all the way out to here, and I hated that. Yeah, this is very open. It gives you lots of extra work counter space. Storage underneath here on the side, too, which is full of canned goods. Oh, I should empty that out. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got a few things to do. We should go up. And then. What do you got? And then a more storage next to the. That's actually the back this of the propane. This is the back of the propane, right? Yeah, tanks. Yeah, that's actually very deep. It's as deep as this Yeah, so it's great top. for, right now we have those, but some people will put cutting boards or something there. Now above this uh, nice work, work area, as we call it, 
you've got another nice storage which yep. can hold a lot of a lot of stuff there it has the microwave which um, we don't have the generator going which we can try again but that runs on 110 this is your thermostat yeah your heat uh, the refrigerator I replaced the control board in it two years ago and it's worked fine since we replaced that mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to open it because I don't want to smell it until we're heading out. Because <laughs> closed clean. refridges are clean, but they get an odor just from They get closed. an odor, yeah. <laughs> Normally I leave it open, but again, I think I forgot to come out after some people used it. Yeah, they were. That's okay. Visiting so here's insane. another one of those nifty little yeah, patches. Of there's four? I thought there's three. Three. No, there's four. So, oh, that one right there no. under you? One, two one. on that side, and two on that side. Oh, there are two down here. Yeah. So when you open all these, and I took the screens off because I had only Velcroed them and they whipped off, but you turn that fan on and I, it, it's it's very nice. It's very it's nice. Cold now. Yeah, I'm, I'll show. Sorry. Okay, I digress. I digress. Gordon, keep going. Close the door. <laughs> so this has the step with the, the water, water tank. tanks underneath there. And that's it, a. It did the. Uh, it, it had a leak and I patched it up and I believe it's been good since. Uh, normally when where we go, we didn't even use the water tank, but we did go on one trip two, three years ago. 19, three years ago. Three years ago and that's when we needed it and I discovered the leak. And so I patched it up. And so then... I noticed it's a 40 gallon tank according to the manual. Okay, so it's a nice big fresh water tank. Mm -hmm. um, so never had problem with water. Up here, this this uh, was set up for two separate beds, which is actually really nice because you got the center thing and then two beds on each side. But we used it with a single queen, full full size queen mattress we put up here. Select Comfort. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. air bed. We were able to take the Select Comfort air bed and put it right in here. We did. So this here is we not. We lived in here. This is not connected. We had taken it out. Yeah. It's, you know, it's back to the original, which you know would have been nice in some ways having that little bit of. Uh, you know, a little se center section would have made making the beds easier. Yes, it would have. There was you know? a lot of, yeah. And it makes these storage areas more sensible too, you know. Those I could get, I had a week's worth of clothes that I was able to get up in there. His and hers, actually his was on this side, mine was on that side. And then I'm, I'm jumping forward and then our hangables went in this very large closet. Yeah, so... This thing was actually very easy to live in. Very easy. Yeah, so another one uh, for clothing on this side. Yep. That puts up and down the TV antenna, which we never ran a TV. If we watched stuff, we were streaming off a computer. 1996. So in 1996, you know, that was still before they had to panelize television, so you'll notice this big bump out. So they had put this big cabinet here, and inside the cabinet, you find all your connections to hook up a television with straps to hold the television in, a tube television that could be turned to be viewed out at the table or turned to be viewed up here. Obviously, because we didn't use the television setup, this just provided ample storage for just cereal boxes. It was a challenge things. because because it was so big going down the road, you know, opening it was kind of like, okay. Something could come flying Because <laughs> you, you want, tended to want to put something heavy, but that puts it high. For, you know, so I end up feel like he said it was potato chip bags, anything light but bulky that if it fell on me wasn't going to injure me. I never noticed there's a switch to something in there. I don't know what that goes to. It's in the on position, so we never realized oh. it. <laughs> so I don't no know what the switch idea. does. Yeah, it's always been on, so <laughs> it might just be the outlet in there. I don't now know. it comes with a radio. Yeah, the radio, um, we rarely ever use that. You know. What else did it do over here? I don't remember. CD player radio. What's that brown thing with the light on it? That's just your um one of your safety detectors. That one is your carbon monoxide detector. Ah uh, yes, okay. Oh, very important. So it has an air conditioner. Yeah. And it's there's a dual situation up here. Yeah, it's a. Uh... Yeah. I don't know what more to show. It's well, an air conditioner it's with AC, a... but you can, you can do, also a fan. do a fan. A fan, which is just a vent or an AC. And then um, it, you can do an optional heat. We never okay. used it for the heat. Um, I thought of using it one summer because it was incredibly damp and I felt like the inside of the camper kept getting condensation. Yep. But uh, in the end, I just went ahead and hit that thermostat, which blows out here. Yeah, the heat there. 
Okay, so then aside from that big storage, you have the rest of your storage up here. Hey, did we identify that stuff. that runs off three things? The refrigerator? Yeah. The refrigerator is a, a triple. Your, 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 trip, your standard triple, f triple you let them? Uh, source, a AC, DC, and propane um, fridge but by Dometic. I'm not sure the size. It's very large. We'll come back when we're done. Okay. okay. That's what I was getting at. So with these. Here's the main control panel for all of your, your tanks, your... Um, Let's water see. pump, water heater. So we can see, you know, the battery is almost dead. That's not helping us. <laughs> Where's the battery? And basically there. the tanks are pretty empty. The sensors aren't always that great. Let's see if the generator wants to stay on from here. No. I think it's you're just, just too low on too propane. Low. Yeah. Because it's firing up, and as long as I hold the button in, it stays on. Oh, stop. Yeah, it is. Which is stop. the safety. That's that, not good for it. That's just saying that the propane's too low, so... All right, so then you have your hood light, and you have a hood fan, which are not gonna run, I don't think. No, they'll, 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 they'll. There's the fan. Yeah. No, the I light. We, I actually burnt the bulb out last time we used it. Yeah, I guess we should be showing all the lights. See, and it had, a, it had a grate here, but I, no, it had a piece that went on here. Oh, another one? But I didn't, I kept it clean up in there. I didn't, I don't cook meat in here, so I didn't feel like it was a big deal. Um, and that, I do probably could have replaced that. That's original, came with it. So, forgot to show the mood lighting. Mood lighting! Oh. Yep, mood yes, lighting. a little romance. And a bunch of lights everywhere. So there are lights underneath. everywhere. And that's the hatch, the emergency hatch. And that does have a small leak on that far right side. Um, but you I got up with the caulk and I, I haven't been in it since to see if it's still it, leaking or not. Right, it had a leak, but I think it's been patched. And you know we keep it tarp cover so you don't know until you go to use it, which is Good that we keep it dry, but bad that you don't know to your using it. Oh, <laughs> it drips yeah. on you, you'll know. Yeah. It was chilly one morning. So here's just a lot more storage underneath the uh, sink area. There's actually quite a bit in here, even though there's pipes and that in there. And uh, in here as well, which I'm trying to kind of get at. Sorry about the mess. I promise I'll clean it up. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Is your winterization, so you can just uh, put this hose into the antifreeze turn it to winterize, turn the pump on, and pump everything till you get pink coming out everywhere. I blow the lines out. I haven't, but that is a quick, I blow them out with air, but that's a quick winterization system. I need a light, uh, system. can't see in there. Can't see nah, in there. I was in the light. Was, and I'm so sorry. You can tell that we came home and everything fell over and I just didn't get in there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So just, just in good shape. Yeah. Just uh, stuff everywhere. We had a lock this or something. So it comes with a dual sink, and um, mom and dad put this on, which was really nice because it's high. Yeah, nice. So you can actually clean real, real pots and pans. A little kitchen faucet rather than a camper faucet. Yeah. And uh, okay, so your typical for the eight to time frame three burner stove with gas oven, uh, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But not that we've used, we may have used the oven once. You know. mm -hmm. This is just um, some parts. parts and storage, but uh, you can bypass the hot water tank here, or you can put the water through the hot water tank. Um, I guess that way, if you're maybe in the winter or something, you don't want it water getting in the hot water tank. Or I'm not sure the, the whole reasoning to bypassing it. But that's what that setup's for. That fan was for the bathroom. Yeah, that's to fix the bathroom because well, that, that fan needs replacing. Yeah, evidently when that's it, new. it I was don't know used, somebody must have caught it. This this <laughs> thing and maybe let us know. Oh boy! Okay. You missed me. Oh, you oh, already I'm just this. showing the other fan in there. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sneak preview. Preview. So this is the and it was working. There it goes. That switch is getting sticky. It's got lots lots of hanging room. It's got uh, cedar in it. I think it's. No, I thought it was cedar, I real think it cedar. it just looks like cedar. Oh. But maybe, I hope it is. I thought it was. Okay. So there's your bathroom light, so you can mess with people when they're in the bathroom. Yeah, that's because you don't really want to be turning the light on when you're in it. Now, one of the neat features that we found is that sometimes you wanted that back door open with a screen, but you, you know, you had all your blinds down, but you wanted to be able to get in and out of the shower, so you wanted to get all that fresh air. So we found that you could just kind of slide this table a little bit this way. <laughs> 
and now the door would catch. And you could be in here in private and still have lots of. And because this is a wet bathroom, meaning there's not a, a separate, your light is on, mm -hmm. because it's not a, a separate shower unit. They were able to put this door at an angle, so you actually get a lot more room in here because the door doesn't come to here, yep. and then over. Because you can see that difference is like almost six inches. Yeah, so it's a full, full bathroom. Oh, look at all the cobwebs. With a medicine cabinet. Yeah. Medicine cabinet. There's the shower. It actually hangs up well, there. Well, because it's the outside hose, it's too short to hang properly. <laughs> so it needs a new inside hose, and this one will go back to the outdoor shower hose. And then down here and is more toilet oh, paper hole. We, like had, I said, a, we, we had, had a visitor, visitor this winter that we've got to figure out. We've, that's new. This is the first visitor we've had since we've had it here. Wow. I must not have had it jacked high enough. I find if I leave it up on the stilts, they don't. They don't try to be able to get into it. So I don't know if the branch was leaning on it. So that has an exhaust fan for when you're um, showering, which is really nice. Now, there's also the there's also the chance it's a flying squirrel. Oh, yeah, we do have because a lot of those. Because they could fly and land on it and get in and then yeah. jump off. Oh, so it boy. could be a flying squirrel. Yeah, they're kind of mean. Yeah. You can't keep them away. They're kind of... And I think that pretty much summarizes... So then we have the a control thing. panel, 1996. Inside. So <laughs> the... Um, Unlike the, the newer ones, which your jacks are remote controlled, you turn them on here and then they're just run from the switches outside, which I find is nice because you don't have to worry about losing that remote control. Right. You know, so, you know, you turn your jacks on here and then it shows that they're lit. And then... Uh, this and then is the kind of sad. Is on them. So we replace the screen, which you just flick this down. We actually replaced this little bad boy. It was done. So the screen's in great shape. Minimal bugs. Probably just me not getting in fast enough. And of course it has the driver window. Ooh, oh, that's, that's, falling, that's off. falling off. That's new. So that's brand, that, that, that held up for how many years? 1996. That's a fisheye. That's a fisheye. I don't know how that gets us attached. But so this little bad boy comes down when you don't want people to see in and you're inside. But when you're driving, it's nice to have it up so that you can see from the cab. Yeah, this one because we didn't do the we didn't do the fridge. Oh yeah, we we'll go back and do the fridge <laughs> because the yeah. it, the the new ones, you know, for the slide outs, they raise them up higher, so they sit really high, and they have a, all this basement space underneath, so it makes it harder to see out your back window. This one sits down lower. You can if you if you had a truck with an opening window, you could easily get in and out of the. Uh, the camper through the cab of the truck and it sits down low enough we forgot to show the window yeah i don't think we really want to sell it no see it's a nice opening window and you can see right through it okay so you want to see the fridge all right oh uh, now i'm nervous truth is all right let's yeah, see how see bad it. it is oh it needs cleaning. cleaning all right not bad not bad. Oh, that Nineteen. One's worse. Oh, that one's much worse. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if crack the way they're supposed to be. Yep. Yep. I'll clean that. Promise. Promise. So. All right. So she's a little rough, but she's got a lot of love and a lot of spunk. And uh, hopefully you're interested, and you can help us with our septic. <laughs> Does have a handle here that. <laughs> needs replacing. I'm going to show should, you the bad with the good. You we know? should probably just stop talking. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss her. Never named her. Oh, okay. Shut the, um, yeah, even this. So I don't know how come these got left on. I guess they used the... I left them for the heat. So they could and I heat. never came back out and, and looked at them. came back down, so they both went... They must have... <laughs> That thing went to Alaska twice. Twice? When we have people, I think so. I thought that's what I understood. So <clears throat> when we have people over and they're in there, we drop it down on these boards. It's a little more stable. This has nothing to do with the camper. That was something set up for another project. age goes for five mm -hmm. but it was a short it, it only came to here no generator so it only came to here oh okay 
three, four feet shorter. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. just showing the bathtub. Yeah. It's not really a bathtub. Yeah. This corner I caught once and popped it, but yep. it's never gotten any moisture in there. It's covered. And this was his way of backing up one year. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> this is new. Oh, it popped. The screw is actually still in there. It just needs to be pawed again. So uh, let, if you're interested, let us know. Uh, as soon as the mud season's over, we can get back in here and I'll pull it out front and get it cleaned up.